Zoom, the company that saw us through COVID with all our online meetings, is now entering the AI game with their own new state-of-the-art model. Benchmarking very well, but the benchmarks are flooded with so many models. Uh, what do you make of this, Eddie? Um, yeah, I think it's very interesting. You know, Zoom has only one competitor, I think, which is Microsoft. Um, but generally, Zoom seems to be the one that innovates. Uh, and they have seen a very unique use case where they want to integrate AI into their software with transcripts and whatnot. Um, and so far, they've tried ChatGPT and Claude Sonnet, and it works fine for basic things like transcripting. But uh, when it comes to more agentic workflows, say you're in a meeting and you need an action, a task, um, the, the idea behind this is that their AI that they've created is better with understanding transcripts and tool use uh, that outperforms OpenAI and Claude. So yeah, very interesting to see uh, with, with Zoom. I'm curious to see how they go, but so far it's it's smashed uh, Gemini, Claude, and GBC 5 Pro uh, on the humanities last exam. So did not expect this from a video conferencing software company, but yeah, it's great well, to see. I I have an interesting perspective on that is that um, what is in any software company is gold is actually having a huge user base. Now, Zoom as, um, I don't know whether you would know this or not, but Zoom as we all started to come into the office and yeah, a lot of people still do hybrid and all that sort of stuff, meetings have dropped down, but Zoom during the height of COVID, we're just getting hundreds of thousands of users a day new onto their platform because we all wanted to zoom our families and the like. So they have one of the biggest user bases, but they've got a very narrow product set. So what they obviously need to do is they need to sort of go a bit more horizontal with their features and abilities. So they would be someone which I reckon we should watch these guys really, really closely because they may even have more users on their platform than ChatGPT. So they might be yeah. here today. Yeah. As in, it's very interesting. Um, it's also important to clarify, it's actually not a new model, it's a uh, or model orchestrator. So they're sort of standing on the shoulders of giants of OpenAI and, and Google here, Open using their models and just orchestrating tool use and choosing which model is the most suitable for that task. Yes, utilizing the user base. There we go. There you go. And data is gold. And they have a lot of it. Need help with AI solutions? Click on the channel link and follow the link tree.